What's up guys? Welcome to part three of the Tesla clone. In the last video, we built the nav bar so you can see here that it is fully responsive. When you hover, it's looking nice. So we got that created. Next, what we want to do is we'll come over here to the Tesla website. And you can see, we'll, we'll make it bigger. We have the Model 3, we have this paragraph, we have some buttons, and we have this bouncing icon. And so we're going to work on that uh, today. So let's go ahead and shrink that down, and we'll just jump right into it. So the first thing we want to do is create the component. So we will come in here, and we will create a new component, and we'll call this model.js. Sweet. We're going to use our React snippets, so we can say R-A-F-C-E. We're going to hit enter. Perfect. Let's go ahead and back into our app. Let's close the nav bar, and then we'll go back to our app. And underneath here, we will start typing model, and it pops up, so we can just hit tab. It's going to auto import it for us, and then we'll close this off. Sweet. We have model. If I come into our React app, you can see model text is showing up. So we're good. So let's go into model and let's kind of structure this. So jump back into the Tesla app. Let's make it bigger again. So we have the model three, the paragraph, two buttons and a div. Not a div, but an icon. All right, let's, let's hit that up. So we have our div. We're going to create another div here, and this div is going to be for our H1, and that H1 is going to say model 3. Then underneath this, we'll create a paragraph, and that paragraph is going to say this. Sweet. And then underneath this, we're going to open up a new div. That's going to contain two buttons actually let's just go like this button button put that down um, this is custom order and then this one is going to say e existing inventory inventory and then underneath this we'll have one more div and then that will contain our icon. So let's talk about that. Let's actually bring this in. So this icon here will go to React Icons. And let's go ahead and you can see react-icons.github.io slash React Icons. And we're just going to do an npm install React Icons. So let's open up a new terminal. We'll say npm install. And it is React dash icons bam let's get that installed the icon is a chevron i know which one i'm gonna do so it's it's fi chevron down so we can find that and if you click it it's gonna copy to your clipboard and so what we'll do is we'll import that so we'll say import and we'll just paste that in there and we're importing that from react dash uh, we'll go icons slash fi. Sweet. We'll come in here. Tab, tab, tab. We'll go ahead and add it. So you can see it pops up right away. So we'll just hit tab to select it. Close it off. Let's do command A. And we'll right click and we'll say format document. And let's go ahead and go to our React app and see how we're looking. So we have the model three, we have our paragraph, we have our two buttons, and our chevron. Sweet, so we're, we're getting there. So let's go ahead and tackle this. So we'll come to this first div, and we'll add some utility classes to it. So let's go ahead and say, absolute for the positioning and we'll say inset dash x dash zero pulls up for me and we'll say top dash 15 percent 
close that and then we'll see top 15% so it is here and then the last one I think we need to do is tech center sweet so you can see this is centered now for us looking good so the model 3 let's go ahead and say class name here and we'll say text dash for XL you can see model 3 that looks good and then we'll say font bold and one thing I forgot to mention is the react documentation not react documentation but the tailwind documentation right here it's really good we can uh, open this up get me out of the way you can see we have all different things down here we can say hey how do you use flex you have examples um, you just have everything you need here and their search is good too so we can just come in here and we're just playing around with font so what do we want to see here say oh font weight click that you can see here's font bold and it shows you the weight so you can refer to this this is really helpful while you're building we'll go back into our react app and let's go ahead and go to our paragraph. And so this text looks a little bit big. Well, before we do that, let's just go touch this delivery. We can create a span tag. Let's copy that. Put that in here. We're going to give that a class name and we'll say underline. And you can see that it's underline, but one thing is the Y and the line touch. So what we can say here is underline and you can give it an offset. So we'll say an offset of four. And you can see that line goes down. So now nothing's touching, looking good. And then we're gonna also give it some padding. Oh, not that some padding. We're gonna give padding over here. So we'll say class name and we're gonna say padding of two. All right, that's looking pretty good. And then also the text, let's go SM. All right, sweet. So I think I think that's good. So let's, let's move it around and see. So at the top 15%, it stays looking sweet. Cool. Let's work on these buttons. One thing I just noticed, this should be button, not buttons. Perfect. All right, let's get going. So we'll give it a class name and we'll say equals. And then let's go ahead for these buttons and add a few things. So we'll say flex. We're gonna say flex column. We'll say items center. We're gonna say justify center. We're gonna make the text small. Cool, you can see it shrink down. We'll say when this thing gets to large, we're going to say flex row. So let's try that out. So right now we have it as a column. So it's stacked. And then when we go out, boom, it's in line. Perfect. We'll slide over so you guys can see. So we got flex row and then we're just going to do some positioning. So we'll say absolute and we'll say inset. Um, we'll do X dash zero. That centers it here. And then we are going to do um, maybe let's try top 10% maybe. Let's give that a try. Oh no buttons let's move that to the bottom sweet so that's looking good well we'll leave it there um, we'll see how that looks so now let's go ahead and style style the buttons so we'll do a class name and then for the buttons we are going to say BG dash color and what color do we want to do Hashtag. We'll come to the Tesla website. We'll hit the CSS peeper. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we'll just copy this. 
put that in there, close it. Let's look at our React app. BG. We don't need color in there. There we go. Sweet. So now we can see that. We want to do rounded ND. And you can see that those got rounded. We want to do like a width of 96. Make that a little bit bigger. That looks good. Um, when we get to the large breakpoint, so we'll just go LG. We want to change the width. Um, and we'll go like 64. So we'll see. We grab this and we go out. Perfect. It gets a little bit smaller. I like that. Um, and then we'll do H10. Looking good. And then we are also going to do, I'll put it right here, but for our large, let's also give it some margin. And then here, we'll give it a margin top of two. All right, cool. So you can see when we go out, it's looking good. All right, let's, let's get, uh, let's also throw in text white. Sweet. All right now let's uh, attack the next one. This one, it's pretty much the same thing. So we'll just copy this. Let's go to the button. Class name equals, paste that in there. All right, existing inventory. This one is not gonna be text white. Okay, we'll scroll over in the background. Click here, it's F4, F4, F4. Okay, so we'll grab, oops, we'll come in here, and we'll say F4, F4, F4. All right, so that's looking good. We have that, that margin top of two there, and then when we go bigger, we got the margin four. It's looking really clean. All right, now let's work on our icon. So our icon, it's kind of small, so let's go ahead and say size equals, and we'll say, let's try 24. It's a little bit bigger, looks good. Um, in this div, we will say class name, and then we're gonna say flex. And we'll say justify center and we'll say animate bounce. This is really cool. Watch this guys. So animate bounce. Look at it. Got this bouncing animation. Toen made that so easy. It's so cool. Oh, when I, when I first did that, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. I love it. All right. So we got animate bounce and then we're also going to set the position. So we'll say absolute inset. We'll do X zero, and then we're gonna say this will be like the bottom. And then I think maybe like, let's see, 3%, see where that goes, right there. I think three looks good, and we go large, it's looking good. We shrink it up, move it around. Woo, responsive, beautiful. You guys did it. I hope you guys are enjoying Tailwind. The next thing we're gonna do is, I'm thinking maybe we'll make these all links so we can click on these um, and we'll just go from there. All right, see you guys.